Hello, welcome to our Body Capsule channel. Today, we are going to talk about disorder of hyperpigmentation. So, what is disorder of hyperpigmentation or increased pigmentation? Hyperpigmentation is a common condition that makes some areas of skin darker than others. Hyper means more and pigment means color. Hyperpigmentation can appear as brown, black, gray, red or pink spots or patches. The spots are sometimes called age spots, sun spots or liver spots. Diffuse hyperpigmentation Most commonly due to hypermelanosis but other pigments may be deposited in the skin such as orange discoloration with carotenemia and bronze with hemochromatosis. First, described in 1919 by Hess and Mears, carotenemia is the medical terminology describing yellow or in the skin pigmentation due to high keratin level in the blood, excessive consumption of fruits and vegetables, high in keratin content is often the culprit. Diffuse pigmentation sometimes worse in the skin creases and mucosa may be feature of Addison's disease, Cushing syndrome, Nelson syndrome, and chronic renal failure due to increased level of pituitary melanotropic peptides, including adrenocorticotropic hormone such as ACTH of melanotrop or melanotrop is a cell in the pituitary gland that generates melanocyte stimulating hormone. Also, alpha melanocyte stimulating hormone from its precursor pro opiumelanocrotin. Chronic stress can induce the secretion of alpha melanocyte stimulating hormone in melanotrophs and lead to their subsequent degeneration. Endocrine pigmentation. So, what is endocrine pigmentation? It may occur in several conditions. Melasma, colasma describes discrete patches of facial pigmentation that occur in pregnancy and some women taking oral contraceptive. The mechanism for this localized increase hormone sensitivity is unknown. For to expose site hyperpigmentation. So, what is this? It occurs in some of the porphyrias but can also be drug induced with amiodarone and clopromazine. Porphyrias refers to a group of rare disorders that results from a buildup of natural chemicals called porphyrins in the body. Porphyrins are needed to make him part of hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is a protein in red blood cells which carries oxygen to the body's organs and tissues. Drug induced pigmentation. So, it may be diffuse or localized. It is not always due to hypermelanosis, but sometimes is caused by deposition of the drug or metabolite, the drugs and appearance. So, amidurans shows photoexposed sites such as slate gray, arsenic, diffuse bronze, pigmentation, gliomycin, flexible brown, bosom fun, appearance diffuse brown, chloroquine, photoexposed sites such as blue gray, clofazimin, red, mepacrine, yellow, minocycline, temple shells, gingiva, sclera scar. Sites slate gray, phenothysins, photoexposed sites which shows slate gray, sorelins, photoexposed sites which shows brown. Focal hypermelanosis, seen in regions such as freckles, lentigens, characterized by local areas of increased or focal areas of increased pigmentation. Freckles are small flat spots that are usually found on sun-exposed areas of our body. They are tan, red, light brown or dark brown. Freckles are extremely common and hunt at health rate. They are often seen in summer. We are more likely to have freckles if we have light skin and have a blonde or red hair. Some lentils are flat spots or increased pigmentation. They are usually tan, brown or dark brown and darker than freckles. So lentigens have oval to round shape and vary in size. They usually appear on areas most exposed to sun, such as scalp, face, hands, arm, and upper trunk. 